Hey there everyone, Jack here. Do you like talking about anime? Well, certain Japanese companies don't want you talking about anime. Let's get into it. I love anime, but I will never cover it on YouTube, and here's why. So the copyright system in Japan is a little different than the rest of the Western world. And in this case, the doctrine of fair use doesn't really apply in Japan, as the companies that own the properties basically have the say on what flies and what doesn't. And for whatever reason, two Japanese companies in particular have taken the copyright hammer against certain YouTubers. The most prominent YouTuber gone after is one called Totally Not Mark, an Irish YouTuber that primarily talks about Dragon Ball properties. So what happened is that Toei Entertainment, which works on properties like Dragon Ball and One Piece struck down every single one of his videos. But he was fortunate as he's a very large YouTuber and YouTube went in to help him. So basically what happened is that Toei went around YouTube's rules and tried to get rid of Totally Not Mark's channel without any terms of due recourse. And to YouTube's credit, it didn't step down, as Toei just didn't give an explanation as to why it was striking down all the videos. It was just doing it seemingly at random. But really, the problem here is that Totally Not Mark could have faced legal repercussions in Japan, because fair use really doesn't exist there. So YouTube's solution to this problem was actually pretty innovative, as it allowed the channel to put a geo tracker on it so it wouldn't show the videos in Japan. Because even if it's a bad thing that Toei went after Totally Not Mark, they could have gone after him again in Japan and won. And really, the prospect of YouTube losing its safe harbor status is pretty horrible, because imagine if a company like Disney would be allowed to do this. They own everything, so they would strike down everything immediately. We'd all be pretty much running for the hills. And coincidentally, with Toei going after Toei Not Mark, there's a company called Nihon Ad Systems that used to work on Yu-Gi-Oh! that is going after YouTubers that focus on Yu-Gi-Oh! The most prominent YouTuber affected is a channel called Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, where his channel has been pretty much frozen in the last month because of all the copyright strikes. The same company also went after him four years ago for about two months, but then they went away. And for whatever reason, they're trying to strike his channel down again. Though like last time, it seems to be ineffective, though unfortunately, the company has been able to get rid of a few other channels. And with Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, an important thing to note is that Nihon Ad Systems went after videos that were only images. And contained no video footage whatsoever. So, you know, I may have my gripes about Totally Not Mark's content. For all of his character analyses, he basically uses the same quote from the same book each and every time. It's the one where a character's arc is defined by the lie that the character believes. Seriously, it makes me feel like his content is basically copy-paste, 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 and I hate that because I feel like I'm watching the same thing over and over again. And his totally blind reviews of Naruto and One Piece? That just really, that's skeptical. You mean to tell me that he's never seen any of Naruto and One Piece at all? I mean, come on, Naruto and One Piece with Dragon Ball with the big three at once. Well, the big three with Bleach, because Dragon Ball had pretty much run its course in the early 2000s. But you get what I mean. And 99% of reviews are done at the first time anyway, so it's basically a redundant hat on a hat. It comes off to me as trying to ride a trend rather than being creative and innovative. But putting those criticisms aside, Totally Not Mark definitely did not deserve what Toei did to him. Yeah, so this situation is basically the complete opposite of the Twitch TV meta, where you had streamers just busy just sitting there lounging and watching TV, and streamers like Asan Piker and Pokemon, who got a slap on the wrist instead of being banned for breaking copyright law, get to run away scot-free and more popular at the expense of everyone else. In this case, you have content creators who transform works, but they are the ones who get shut down and face repercussions. The silver lining here is that Western animation really isn't affected by this, and hopefully will stay that way. But on the downside, it looks like anime is not a safe practice on YouTube. And really, with all the pirated stuff around, you think that companies would focus on that instead of going after content creators? But I guess they get their jollies going after big fish rather than playing whack-a-mole with smaller pirates. But that's my critique on the matter. Yeah, so this channel is gonna stay focused on Western animation. Even though I love me some anime, and my channel probably wouldn't be affected because, you know, I bounce around from show to show in a complete rebuff of the YouTube algorithm. But yeah, I really hate the idea of having years worth of work getting blown up in flames. So for all the anime content creators on YouTube that are being unfairly targeted, I hope that the situation improves and you don't have to deal with this crap because this is really ridiculous. Okay everyone, this is Jack turning off the TV. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, dislike it and let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye!